Hey guys, what is going on? Gibbo again. Been away for a week. Doing this and that. And I'm back with some news related stories. Now, as you know, the Xbox One preview members have got the streaming app. Um, obviously, this is from Android devices, tablets, laptops to stream your content from there onto through the Xbox One onto your TV. Now, um, there was a demo on the 29th or 30th, I think it was, um, the Xbox One to Windows 10 streaming and it felt just like console gaming. This is uh, an article from Engadget UK. Um, with the release of Windows 10, Sony won't be the only company to offer game streaming from its consoles. Today, we finally got our hands on Windows 10's Xbox One game streaming feature, which lets you bring your entire Xbox gaming experience to any PC running the new OS. And even if it's in an early state, it looks as like it will satisfy even the most demanding gamers. Microsoft made a risky bet by... Um, giving us Sunset Overdrive, a fast pace where you'd notice the slightest hint of slowdown and as you can see in the video below, I shall link that in the description, it is virtually identical to the native Xbox One experience. This was while running on a Surface Pro. So Windows 10 streamed Sunset Overdrive at its full resolution and they, there weren't any major issues or delays. Having spent dozens of hours with the game on my Xbox One, I didn't notice much of a difference playing if it um, playing it in its stream version. All of its acrobatic manoeuvres and twitch um, heavy gunplay felt as responsive as ever and best of all you don't need any crazy hardware to stream game with, games with Windows 10. The demo was running on a fairly typical Intel Core i5 system and it can run or even slower computers if they have the form of H.264 encoding. So I will leave that link in the description so there's no problems with this and this is just a demo now so this is some of the features that will come after E3 to the Xbox One. Uh, another game being released this month is Li Lifeless Planet. Um, it's about an astronaut on a planet um, once thought to be inhabited. Play players will discover a mysterious abandoned Soviet town while searching for missing crewmates with a variety of enemies and one Russian ally. Lifeless Planet's gameplay is lives constructed of exploration and puzzle sol solving using the tools the astronaut has at his disposal. Now this is a PC game which was released in June 2014 so it will be releasing on May the 13th on the Xbox One. Uh, another game delay, Dead Island 2, another zombie game. Why fans on the Xbox One and PS4 will have to wait to play another zombie title. So this is Dead Island 2, devs have released. There will be one less game this year being released on next-gen consoles and PC. So it's Deep Silver revealed today that Dead Island 2 has been delayed and will not be released until 2016. The gruesome open-world zombie game was supposed to arrive this year but has been pushed back due to the title needing more work to reach the visions first set out by the publisher. I think it is because, you know, we've got Dying Light and that is still selling well. Still a, uh, a, a really good game, I haven't finished that yet. And State of Decay has just dropped, so I've been on that for a few days. Um, love that on the 360 there, so I've just been had my head into that. So yeah, so Dead Island 2 will be a 2016 game. Um, speaking of game, Game UK, where I get my games from, and a lot of people get their games from in the UK. Uh, a Halo 5 Guardians Limited Collector's Edition, and it will set you back at £200. So Game have announced that they will be selling £200 Halo 5 Guardians Limited Edition exclusively. There will also be an £80 Limited Edition that will come with a steelbook and include new digital content to enhance Spartan Combat and some exclusive items too. This is on the game website. It suggests that the limited collector's edition will include a limited edition game, an arsenal of additional content, and a commemorative statue designed by 343 Industries. As you know, Halo 5 Guardians launches on the Xbox One on October the 27th. So that's all I've got for today, guys. So I just thought I'd keep you up to date with what's been going on and a few bit of news feeds. So yeah, the game you've seen now is Happy Wars on the Xbox One pre-release version. Um, quite fun, something different to what you're playing. Uh, I have come off Destiny for a week. I'm having a, a rest from Destiny. You know when you just had too much of a game. So yeah, I still like the game though. So, so yeah. So uh, I'm sorry I've been uh, like a week out, but I have been posting gameplay as well. So go, go and check them out. So as I always say, keep it gaming. Peace out and hashtag Xbox One. Catch you later, guys. Peace out.